next exercise here is gonna be called the dead bug exercise. It's really, really good at engaging our core while we're moving our limbs. That way we can train our body to stabilize here while our limbs are moving. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nathan Sumeno coming at you from the Southern California University Health Sciences. I'm one of the full-time faculty members on campus. This is a great exercise to engage our core and teach our body how to move our limbs at the same time. We're gonna start out here with the feet flat on the table, the knees bent, and then both hands are gonna come up about the level of the shoulders right here, about 90 degrees, palms facing each other here. Now, we're gonna train our body to move the arms. One arm's gonna stay perfectly still, the other arm's gonna move back so that our arm lines up with our ear. We're gonna move back here overhead. Good, notice his thumb's kind of pointing straight down to the ground. He's moving in a nice straight line, coming back to the top, okay? And bring it back, okay? Make sure the arms stay nice and even. We don't want them drifting apart or moving around. They're gonna stay nice and parallel to each other. Let's get the legs involved here. We're gonna start with a very simple movement. All I want him to do is keep this knee bent, and we're gonna actually start here at about 90 degrees at the knee. Keep that 90 degree angle at the knee, and I want you to bring this knee up right about to uh, where my arm is here, about 90 degrees of hip flexion, so we have this sort of 90 degree angle here at the knee and the hip. And if we're really advanced, we can alternate the arm. So I want you to tap this heel down to the floor, bring this arm back overhead, Good. Now bring them back to the top. Excellent. This heel down, this arm up to the head. Okay, and now his core is really working strong here to try to maintain this stable position as the arms and, and legs are moving on the opposite side. So this is gonna be really good for most people to help train their core musculature, which is not just the belly, not just the sides, but the back as well, and help protect that spine. Some real common ways that people can injure their back, a lot of people are working at their desk at home, they're not really getting up, they're not really moving as much, so a lot of the core musculature, musculature gets really deconditioned and not used to stabilizing the spine. So something as simple as, you know, bending over to pick up uh, you know, a lightweight object. When you're bending at your back, you're not really bending at the knees. Real easy to strain some of the tissues around the back and cause an injury that way. 